someone suggested that the word love be removed from the dictionary for a couple of years and then be reintroduced my dear sisters and brothers it goes without saying that love is a word a concept that is misused and abused all the time what we take to be love is no love at all and what is really love and real love few pursue it there was this friend of mine who was very close to me and uh, i remember the time when he was constructing a house the floor was actually being laid and concrete was about to be poured onto the floor and so he was busy keeping children away from the floor the concrete that was to be newly laid and for obvious reasons and he was someone that loved children spent a lot of time with them playing with them teaching them the way of life and the way of god and uh, he truly loved children but then as i saw concrete being laid to the floor and he was obviously busy keeping children away from that floor a couple of those children ran across the room <laughs> leaving their footprints on the newly laid concrete and my friend went to besar he ran down the road chasing them till they disappeared around the corner and when he came back panting and puffing i turned to him and said but i thought you loved children and without missing a beat he said yes i love children but i don't love them in concrete my dear sisters and brothers we love people but do we love them in concrete in tangible ways in practical ways in real life is a love all talk or is it walking the walk does a love show itself in little ways helpful ways in ways that uh, we serve the other or is it all just talk the first reading of the day from the first letter of paul to the corinthians chapter 13 is a beautiful um hymn of love if you have some time i would invite you to spend a little time on it as a family or as couples it is beautiful and i like the way he sums up love is patient and kind love is not boastful or arrogant it doesn't keep record of evil and he goes on and on and on it's not mere emotions it's not just thinking thoughts but love is willing the good of the other love is placing the good of the other before your own in other words love is a choice it is a decision that you make it's a way of loving it's a way of living a way of giving a way of no matter what and so in this sense i ask you do you place the good of the other before your own if so you are in love and you do love the other let's as we go through this eucharist be grateful to god 
or this self-giving love of his, the love that would make him be available to us in the form of bread and wine, feeding us of his body and blood. That is real love, love par excellence. Let's be grateful for the love that God bestows on us.